Amen. God began to show us the greater things that he has for us. Amen. But if we're concentrating on how much how much I can make on this or how much I can get for that or how much, uh, you know, what, what you know, just setting our bank account on the earthly thing. And we know that in, in the past that people have set their, mm. their affections on the things, you know, on all what they had and a hurricane came, a tornado came and blew everything they had away. Then where is their mind? Amen. Where is it set? Amen. On the things of the earth. The word says don't set your affections there on the earth, but set your mind on him. Amen. Because he has a greater thing for us. He has a he he has a promise for us. And if we walk in that promise, mm. people of God, I'm telling you, you walk in the promise Yay. of Hallelujah. Woo. When you walk in the promise of ah. God, God is gonna fulfill his promise mm -hmm. in your life, praise God. Yeah. Put your mind in the place where God wants you to put your mind. Mm -hmm. Not on the things of the earth, but in the word. Yes. Hallelujah. Uh acknowledging him on on a daily basis, praise, walking with him and talking with him and living with him and doing as he would have you to do on a daily basis, praise God. Well, somebody said, well, Pastor, how, are you gonna, how am I going to do that? Well, we have to stay in the word. Amen. We have to stay in prayer, praise yes. God. Hallelujah. We have to stay in constant hey. communication and walking and talking with the Lord on a daily basis, not two times a week, not three times a week, not four times a week. Nobody that I know that, that you know, we basically have three meals a day. Praise the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. And basically we eat three meals a day feeding our flesh. But God wants you to feed your spirit. Oh, yes. Feed the spirit man mm. so that he doesn't dry up. Amen. So that he he Ooh. can stay in constant control so that the spirit will be led by the power, by the anointing, by the glory of God. Mm. But when we're walking, when we're walking in that power, Yay. that God will lead us in the places that he would have us to go. When we've turned ourselves, our mind, our soul, our huh. spirit over to the Lord, Yay. when we given over to him, Ooh. when we give all that to him, then he's going to lead us and he's going to guide us. Our mind is going to be regulated to him. So whatever comes our way, it cannot crush. It will not come against us, praise God. And the devil but is still will, a liar. <laughs> but it will, praise God, when we do what God says, setting our mind on those things above Amen. and not on the earth, that He's gonna, we're going to prevail in Amen. every area of our life. All right? Worry is not from God. Amen. All right? That's not from Him. He does not want you worrying. Hallelujah. All right? He does not. He tells us to... Give, if the bird in the air, don't worry about where they're going to get their next meal or how it's going to happen or whatever. He don't want us worrying. Amen. And that comes from Matthew, the sixth chapter. If you read that chapter, that whole chapter is about worrying people, how not to worry. God doesn't want you worrying. Amen. Of anything. We bring everything to him in prayer, as it says in Philippians uh, 4 and uh, uh, 6. All right. Tells us not to worry, to make our prayer requests unto him with thanksgiving amen and so when we do these things when we set our minds there there's nothing that the enemy can come against us with because we're already set praise and we god we already know god is going to give us the words in that hour and what we should do or say amen so don't worry don't worry little children praise god do not worry Hallelujah. And we just want to close this broadcast with this fourth verse here. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Now, you just might look at that and you might think that that's talking about the last days and Jesus is going to come and take us back and we're going to appear with him in glory. Hallelujah. But look come at the on. verse. Hallelujah. It says, when Christ, who is our life, present tense. Is is a present tense word. He is our life right now. Yes. Praise God. Right now. And when shall he appear? When we receive him in our lives. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. And when we let him out of our lives, he appears again. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Amen. Then shall ye also appear with him in glory. You see, the glory that you let in your life when you became a Christian, mm -hmm. you have to let out of your life praise God mm -hmm. and when you let it out and people can see the Jesus in you then you are appearing with Jesus for his glory yes see yes. he's not going to give you his glory but he's going to yes. share it with you yes in order that you may draw people to him mm -hmm. hallelujah so every time you're praying with somebody according to the will of God praise God you're appearing with him in glory Every time you're doing a good deed that God has directed to you to do out of your heart, you are appearing with him in glory. You are manifesting the presence of God on the earth.